Hey gang, John Baccarelli here with your Lake St. Clair Fishing Report brought to you by Sportsman's Direct. It is Wednesday, October 20th, and I got that right. It's Wednesday because I normally do these things on Thursday, but uh, we're kind of pulling ahead here this week. Um, and it is a gorgeous day outside right now. And, you know, it's it's been just kind of, we've had really good weather out there the last couple of days. And the guys have been going out and they have just been putting a hurt on the fish out there. The perch fishing has been nothing less than phenomenal all up and down the lake, although most of the guys are concentrating down there on that south end. Um, but we're still getting a lot of reports from guys even out in front of Crocker and from the 400 Club out into that 14 to 15 foot of water um, right now. And uh, they're just, they're, they're catching limits of perch. I mean, if you go on Facebook or go on any social media, you're gonna see lots of pictures of limits of big perch out there. Um, we got emerald shiners at both stores. And you know, a lot of the guys are using emeralds, but guys have been using plastics too and drop shotting them and catching them, you know, other ways just to kind of make it interesting out there. Because when you get into one of these big schools, they are really snapping. Um, I expect that these fish are gonna keep moving in tighter and tighter. Um, but right now it seems like most of those fish are out in that 14 foot or 15 foot of water area. Um, that spillway is gonna turn on any time now as well. It should be cleaning up, although it looks like next week we got a bunch of rain coming in again. It's probably gonna dirty everything up. Um, but that's also gonna make it a lot easier for these fish to feel comfortable in the shallow water, which is pretty normal this time of the year, and that's gonna happen. So it's not gonna be long before guys are gonna be taking um, good numbers of fish from shore at all the normal shore areas, but that hasn't really started yet, although we do have a lot of bait fish on the shoreline right now. Um, Walleye fishing. Walleye fishing is going down by the Detroit River again as well. And I'm also getting some reports up there out of the St. Clair River, but definitely down by the mouth of that Detroit River, that walleye bite has picked up and we have moved into a moved into a fall pattern down there. Now water temp's about 62 degrees and they are forecasting that water temp to drop like 10 degrees over the next 10 days. And that's not hard to believe if you look at the forecast of what's coming up, especially next week, but tomorrow's gonna be like the big changeover day and we're say bye bye to the 70 degree weather and say hello to the 50s and 60s and lows in the upper 30s and maybe 40 you know upper 30s and 40s at night going into next week so looks like the chill is coming and i know for you hunters it's it couldn't have happened uh fast enough but it looks like it's here like it normally does right around the end of october going into november um so musky fishing's going out there really well right now is two i've been uh keeping an eye on um Captain Jason Quintano and Fins and Grinch Triders, and he's been getting into those big numbers and big fish out there on St. Clair. And I know some of the guys have been catching them along shore, you know, on the shoreline here on the American side as well too, especially uh, in the spillway. It's happening now again, guys. That started up already, and out in front of the mouth of the spillway, and then up and down the shorelines through the mile roads. So um, those muskies are here now on this side. There's a ton of bait fish. There's a ton of shad and that really brings those skis in on the American side. And you really, especially once we get into this cooler weather next week, you're not gonna see any pleasure boaters out there. You're only gonna see fishermen. So all these boats are gonna start to come out big time starting next week. So if you're a fisherman and you wanna get into some of that shore action, um, now's the time to get those, those, that heavy tackle out and start chasing these skis on the American shoreline. Haven't heard anything about the walleye bite off of shore yet, but you can bet that that's gonna be happening now. And usually, for me historically, it's um, usually just like the week before Halloween and we're almost there right now. So um, that shore bite for the walleyes throwing bombers and stuff ought to really get going down here all along the American side at, you know, all through the mile roads and mouth of the Clinton River and spillway and all those places too. That should start getting going here pretty darn quick um, over the next few days, if it already hasn't. There just may not be anybody fishing for them yet. The fish are probably already there. Um, smallmouth bass, smallmouth bass are still going out there, although definitely not as many people targeting the smallies out there. Um, but the, the quality of the fish right now is just fantastic. Um, one of the tournaments here, I think just last week, um, there was a seven pound fish and lots of six pound fish caught. And you know, I've heard some of the chatter guys discussing whether these fall fish are actually heavier than, than the spring fish loaded with eggs. And yeah, they probably are because you know, it takes energy to make those eggs. Whereas in the fall, once they get a good feed going on and they got plenty of food, which they do this year, they can really pack on weight in a hurry. And with the high water we had all summer, these fish have been feeding good all summer long. So we got big, healthy, thick fish. And uh, you, you could see some pretty crazy weights out there on some of these smallies right now, if you can track them down. Um, 
Uh, one other thing I wanted to bring up here is that, uh, you know, we are, we're going into our busier month here, or busier months coming up, actually, once we get past November, get closer to Christmas time and ice fishing. And we do have openings at both stores um, going into this winter. So, uh, and I just wanted to let you know that, you know, at SDI, we, we are definitely under that 100 person um, employee group. And we believe in, in freedom and we believe and we don't believe in religious tyranny at all. So if you're somebody that may be getting pushed to make a decision somewhere where you're working right now and uh, you don't want to go with the flow and you're looking for a change, give us a ring, check us out, send in an app to us and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. But we're definitely going to be busy going into the, going into the winter, if we get, especially if we get ice. So we are looking for, for a couple of good people at, at both of our stores. So. Um, with that said, if you get a chance, if you can, if you get this report today, get out, take advantage of the weather before it turns ugly, and uh, cash in on some of those some of those perks that are going on out there, and some of the other great opportunities we have out there in Lake St. Clair. Hey, if you like this video content and you want to get updated as soon as the next video is out there, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon, and you'll get notified as soon as the next video is up.